On this episode of Relationship 911, Beatrice asks us, I feel so much pressure with Valentine's Day coming up. How do I create a special Valentine's Day? So we have three tips for you that we've thought about that we've both either employed or that we think would be a really good idea. So take note. So number one is write a love letter. Writing is a beautiful expression of the heart. And for those of you who aren't great writers, no problem. Borrow a poem, borrow a quote, borrow something from someone else, give its credit where credit is due, but hand write it in a beautiful card that you either buy, or if you want to spend no money at all, just get a piece of paper, fold it in half, and write in a beautiful colored pen. Telling someone that you love them, telling them what they're special for, reminding them of their gifts, their skills, their impact in your life and in other people's lives is so priceless because we live in a society where we can be so self-critical. So for a moment, let Valentine's Day be a place where you're expressing your love for someone outwardly. So tip number two is eye contact. Now this may sound funny, but by the way, this is free and it's really easy to do anywhere and can make such a difference. Because in today's society, so often partners are moving around doing so much that they're not actually taking the time to stop and look into each other's eyes. And when we do this with our clients, often they'll be in the middle of a big argument and we'll just say, hold on a second, turn towards each other, take, each other, take your hands, look into each other's eyes, and for one minute of unbroken eye contact, and I can't tell you how often, the tears flow. And the whatever was wrong in that moment suddenly just goes away. Because when you have real, true eye contact, you're really seeing your partner and it's often just recreating connection. It's recreating love. And so on Valentine's Day, a beautiful gift that you can give to your partner and to yourself is take a moment and stop and hold hands and look into each other's eyes and create some eye contact. Beautiful, and tip number three. This is one of my favorite things to do, so I highly recommend you try it. Pick a date from the past. Remember those first few months where you were falling in love and there were things that you did that were so effortless and you were so creative because you just wanted to share things you loved or experience new things with the person that you loved. So pick something from your first six months that is so exciting and so new that you can really remember and celebrate them. And so my bonus tip is make every day Valentine's Day. If you make every day Valentine's Day, then Valentine's Day doesn't have to be a big production. You know, if you're expressing your love, if you're making eye contact, if you're sharing love letters, if you're expressing your love and your partner is feeling it every single day, then Valentine's Day is just another wonderful day where every day you're celebrating each other. So that's how you can take the pressure off of Valentine's Day is make every day a loving expression. And you can share your love with us by giving us a thumbs up. And for support with your relationship, click the subscribe button for more Relationship 911.